We must occupy Vienna. No, Your Majesty. The army must march through it. And precipitate a general conflict? Why not? The commanders are prepared. And then they are fools. We will not make Prussia stronger by taking one yard of Austrian land. The Austrians have lost. And we won our prize. Now let's go home and bargain. I will not agree. Am I Your Majesty's Minister President or not? Let each tribe stay in its own lands. What would be gained by subduing Austria? Power. Power in Hungary and in the Balkans. Hunger is full of Catholic Magyars. Let them keep it. And the Balkans aren't worth the healthy bones of one single Pomeranian grenadier. Let the others fight their own battles. War should only be used for a policy worth its sacrifices. No one who has seen men dying on the battlefield. I have a lightly fight. Oh, don't cry, man. His tears are political. I won't agree. I can no longer serve you. I began this war. But I can't end it. I may as well be dead. Come back, Miss Mark. Don't be a fool. Sit down and be reasonable. But your majesty will not listen to me. Listen to him, father. I began this war for a political purpose. Now it's achieved, and everything else is nonsense. We have shown Europe our strength. Now we must use it wisely. We shall at least need the neutrality of Austria if ever we have to fight Russia or France. I agree with Count von Bismarck. You agree in Bismarck. this case. I'm flattered. We will return to Berlin and negotiate. With strength. Enough blood has been shed. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, speaks with good sense and humanity. You're all against me. This is disgusting. Let us go home to our families.